Alrighty. So I've got uh I've got this ship here, which I need to get back to its home station. And uh we did a what was it? What was it called? A drone infested mine. We did a drone infested mine and got really lucky and got this sentient damage module, damage control worth almost 300 million. Uh, that is one of the more premium drops from, um, from drone lands. And uh, what was interesting is, is that it was on a four of 10. So, um, it, uh, yeah, it was actually on a four of 10 and, um, which I didn't really expect it on that, to be honest. I, I was not something that I was, uh, expecting. So, hmm. I just thought about something. Two jumps from there. Jumps from there. Here, we're gonna go back to, I didn't realize that I was right next to my, one of my home stations where clearly I should drop this off at. So I'm going back through. And yeah, so I consider I consider the loot that I got off of that to be very lucky and not uh, not like your average thing. I, I think your average is that on a four of ten that you might you might get a drop worth ten million, not three hundred million. So you know. You, sir, rock. Saint Gerstar just subscribed for three months. Saint Gerstar, thank you so much. Three months as a sub. I appreciate that continued support. There's 30 gold to everybody here in your honor. And uh, given that this is Kaldar Union Day, we're gonna see what Dolly thinks uh, that your Twitch avatar looks like, but I think we're gonna make it look Kaldari. We'll see here in a second. Well, it made made you Minmatar. Well, uh, I'll give you both versions. I'll show them to you here in just a second. I want to make sure I get into my station. Oh, that is, I don't know. That's not very Kaldari. Docking request accepted. I know I spelled militaristic there. There we go. All right, let's try that. And uh, we'll see what it comes up with. So here, I can drop off my loot. Yes, good loot here. I am uh, I'm pleased with that 312 million from that site. That was really good. That was really good. Uh, the infested mines... They are, um, they are, uh, they're only an eight hour, um, thing. So you have only eight hours to do it, which kind of makes you stop what you're doing and, you know, go do, go do that. 
which is what I ended up doing yesterday. I had no intention of running it yesterday, and then it said it was eight hours, and I'm like, oh, because I was intending on running it this morning. But, you know. All right, so here we go. Um, St. Gersta. There we are, a nice militaristic Kaldari. Um, got your drones back here and everything. Yeah, I think that one's pretty good. And then, and then this one, this one was kind of meh. But here's also a Minmatar version, <laughs> which I'll put that up there for you as well too. So both those will be up in uh, in uh, Discord chat in the live shows. And there you go. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. All right. Now, um, while I'm here, let's see, I don't have any, those, so maybe, uh, maybe I put this in. I don't have anything running currently. Keep that skill training going, you know? What am I points at I'm at 234 million on this guy and what's interesting is I'll show you a little something what's interesting is is that um, my other guy here was um, or is still the one who has the most skill points 272 but he was a mil 100 million over and now it's down to like 50 million difference and that's because I continually put in uh, cerebral accelerators on this guy. I just, anytime I got him, I put him in. And, uh, and, I, and I try and keep on that. Now, I play this one a lot more often. And so I'm seeing when he's out. But, you know, and here's this, this guy. Consume that. Yeah. So he's got some loots there, doesn't he? All right. So, you know, one of these days, maybe he'll catch up. I don't know. You know? I don't know. So, all right. I think that this is the proper ship to take back with me. And... um Although, you know, I saw, let's see here. I was looking at this the other day and drone surveillance can, um, can go to a rogue drone asteroid infestation. Um, so, As long as we got nobody here for the moment. See if we can hit one of those. This one's a very special setup that's just for the drone surveillance sites. Ship is dirty.
All right. You you ready for some noxiously big lag? Look at the bombs going slower. See all these spawns just keep coming in. My drones don't even get a chance to shoot at anything. All right, there we go. All done. All right, no good loot here. So, go pick these guys up again. And there we go, sight completed. The problem with this ship is its cost. And so doing these, uh, doing these, and I, you know what? They say that this, uh, <coughs> that, that this escalates, but I've never gotten an escalation from it. I don't think I ever have. So, yeah. Right. Take this back. Self drive active. Oh yes, people who do this in high sec get concorded. That is true. Yes. And with the ship like this, at this cost, this is two point seven billion. I mean it's a lot, you know, it's not something, it's something that I, without announcing it, I'll fly it out, do one of these sites, and then, you know, um, request go from there, you know. I do have another one of these, I think. Oh, maybe it's not here. I have another Praxis that's uh, a smart bomber as well. Let's see, is it next door? And I built it as a cheaper, um, cheaper version. That's not it. I got Praxis's all over the place, actually. Or would they be called Praxi? Back up to our other station.
warp drive active. I see you're calling that a smarty party. That's actually not a a bad name for a ship like that doing doing a site like that. Did I say morning, Nikpa? If not morning. Oh, how can you tell if cerebral accelerator is active? It's in the upper left hand corner of one of the white rings up here. Right there. I hate my glasses being dirty at all. I'm really anal about that. Drive active. Yes, may as well put them to use. Yes, now there's a couple of uh, couple of things about about putting them to use. One is you want biology five when you put uh, cerebral accelerator to use because it will double the time on it. And uh, then you also want to, um, you also want to, if you can, have a BY-810 implant in. Uh, and you don't necessarily want to carry that around with you, you know, when you're out doing stuff, but maybe at a station you hop into it, then you do the cerebral accelerator. The BY-810 will give you a 10% increase in the time duration. I don't do that in null, but in my high set characters I do. And uh, they cost, I don't know, 150 million? Maybe a little bit more than that for one of those. But if you think about it, like how much your skill points worth, because they do have a value, um, then um, the, the uh, if you are putting them in like four times, something like that, four times you, you put something in, I mean, it depends on the duration, but like something like four times that you put an acce cerebral accelerator in with the BY-810, uh, then uh, you're probably about break even. And then beyond that, you are getting the extra value. So, <laughs> caviar, you're so nearsighted that a non-existing -exist speck of dust on your lens looks like a boulder. Yeah, I'm very nearsighted as well. Um, I mean, not super bad. I can like drive without glasses and stuff, but um, I uh, I prefer things to be a little bit sharper. And yeah, I just hate stuff being on. Docking request accepted.
Oh, what is this? I must have pushed a button that caused this to open up. Um. Oh, yeah, I clicked on a little thing that was in counter surveillance system. I, I never seen this screen before. I didn't even know it existed. Damn, I just learned something new. Huh. We undock again. Yeah, all right. So is it this that opened that? Let's see here. That right there. Oh, how interesting. Ooh, just learned something new. All right. Maybe that's another episode of I Learned Something New. Here we go. I just learned something new and I never seen it before. I happened to click on this right up here, the encounter surveillance system, this little symbol right next to it up here, information about the ESS. I never, you know, maybe it's cause I don't go around robbing banks that I didn't know that this was here in a thing. But apparently it gives me all the information about the ESSs, you know, um, and it doesn't look like it's telling me about the one that I'm at 17 jumps, hundred percent. What does this hundred percent mean? Um, bounty risk modifier, 100%. Oh, interesting. So maybe it's telling us where we can get 100%? But wait a second. Don't I want more than 100%? <clears throat> there are search stuff. The search stuff here too. Man, I didn't even know. I guess if you're robbing banks, you would know about this. And, um, oh, here's some higher ones. Yeah. And... Uh, <clears throat> Shows how much is in them and stuff. Man, this is a bank robber's dream. All right, so that little thing right there brings you straight into this. Who knew? It's amazing, Eve. I learn something new almost every day, and I've been playing for more than 10 years. Man. All right. Uh, the ESS do ping uh, when um, when you rob them and everything. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. And so minimum reserve values, all of that. Bounty risk modifiers. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty interesting. All right, we're going to dock this guy up again. Right. So I'll go up into that little playlist I have of the, uh, I learned something new in Eve today. And we've got a, a neutral in here. Don't know anything about him, what he's about. We'll give him a minute. I help the customer anyway. I'm uh, I'm pretty excited. We're uh, just hired someone to help out with customer service that uh, is going to be taking about half the customer service hours off of me. So that'll be nice. 
Even I do customer service in our company. I always will. I always will. I, I believe it's really important that no matter what I'm doing with our own company, that I should, uh, I should continue to be involved in all aspects of it, um, you know, at least a bit. So, um, and that's, uh, it's important. Otherwise you lose touch and everything. We're not a huge company, but, um, yeah, it's really important. Any, you know, advice for any of you who are looking to move up in the company that you're in, you know, if you're just looking for a job or you are, you've been at a job for a while, you really should go to your boss or to whoever, you know, you're interviewing with and tell them that you want to know everything. And so you want to work all of the positions in the company that you can, at least for, you know, whatever period of time so that you can have an understanding of how everything works. And that way you can be the most useful and you can figure out where you do the best at. If, if an employee interview, if somebody interviewing with me told me that, one, it would scare me a little bit. Because huh. seriously, I'd be like, oh, well, what's their motive? But some people just want to learn and want to be of best help that they can. But then second, beyond my initial shock of somebody telling me that, would be, fuck yeah, that's awesome. Because um, somebody who can, do, who, who can do the majority of the functions in a company becomes extremely valuable. And then you add that cherry on top saying, I want to find where I best like being here and what I'm best at. And that then gives really strong indicators to your boss or potential employer that you are going to be a really good person on the team. And so, um, you know, it's just, it's just one of the, one of the things that probably, you know, most people who, you know, have a day job and just go to work to get their paycheck or whatnot, that you absolutely would not realize, um, you absolutely would not realize what, um, what impact that has. So, um, all right. All right, here, I got to manually type something a second here. I'm almost done with this. Sorry about that. Still support Shroud of the Avatar and in-game deliveries. So I had to get into the game make a delivery. We don't do many of them these days. It's not a whole lot of people that are playing the game still. The game's wonderful. I mean, it's, it's really awesome. 
but um, there's not uh, not a whole lot of people playing it these days. I wish there was a lot more people playing it because I really enjoy it. So, is this guy camping in here? Okay, let's see if we can find him. Uh, the other end of the spectrum, people in charge think that it's very fact that they're in charge and what they say isn't to be questioned and yeah, and it's always correct. Well, yeah, and um, that, uh, that one thing that I was talking about can backfire on you too because it can uh, threaten. You know, let's, let's say that your boss doesn't really know everything about the company and um, and they are the only one in that position. There's not like, it's not like a real big company and stuff. And um, <clears throat> so they're the only one. And they, um, they could then feel threatened by it. And um, so, you know, let's see, we want combat probes. Because they could be like, oh, they're coming after my job. Mm-hmm. Well. So. Yeah, if your boss feels threatened by it, well then maybe you are a good replacement and you'd be better for the company. So I've done that at every company that I've been to and uh, some very interesting things have happened. Like I've been put in charge of some very interesting projects. Uh, now I have been self-employed now since, you know, well, shit, I've been... Let's see, I'm trying to think of when I didn't have a business at the same time I've been employed because I have had some employment while I've had a business at the same time. And, um, you know, but the, the normal thing is, is that I've always just been doing my own thing. But I did do, I did do uh, a couple of stints of things around around the year, uh, huh, this guy is, all right, so this ship, there's only one ship on the scan, so it's probably me, I'm probably seeing me, right? Yeah. Yeah, and if I were an upper boss and I and I realized that somebody was was um, you know having feeling threatened by their job their job by another another person like because they thought that they were outperforming them or whatever. Oh man, I'd look hard at that person. Send of the probes on myself. Yeah, there are drones out here though. Oh no, this is a heavy assault cruiser. But now, that wouldn't be, it'd be crazy if it was this neutral out here. And that neutral, if we got one of our guys out here that's doing stuff, see it's an Ishtar. Dead Space Complex.
No, nah, they're just, uh, they're doing, they're doing an escalation or something. So who is this other guy? Yeah, they're doing an escalation. Um, so I can leave them alone. But they are not paying attention. This makes me really wonder. They're like sitting out here and not freaking out about the combat probes or anything. And then we got this guy here. And... Let's see here. Um, well, this guy has some kills. The bank is at zero. Um... But he usually had well, he doesn't have a whole lot of kills. Oh, look at that. Promo for the new stuff today. It is Kaldara Union Day, by the way. Yeah. And you can use the Z kill. Get 3% off. Actually, it's got Plex in it, which is already on sale. It's actually cheaper than the thousand Plex. Plus, then it um it is um uh, plus, then, it's uh, got all the skin stuff in it, which essentially becomes free. Also, oh, he left. So he left. He's lost a couple things here. Um, but he's gotten some kills. So this is yes, yesterday. So today he lost something. We got this C. These guys. Vagabond. It's not a Black Ops. These are ESS guys. What do you think? It seems to me. All right, so, and he lost this to an NPC. Hmm. Well, that's not a combat fit. This guy's a little bit confusing to me. But here, this, that also is not necessarily a PVP fit. I mean, I think it is, but no. He's got a lot of kills yesterday or the day before. Oh, yeah. Let's see, now this is more likely something that he would uh, be running around in. So, he lost that to an NPC as well. Well, at least he's trying. You know, I I don't knock anybody for losing something to to rats. Um, I really think that that it's good to get out there and try. So, yeah, I really do. All right. So this guy, he's uh. Oops, I didn't mean to close that, did I? Damn. All right, well, I did. Okay. So, oops, where am I going? What am I doing here? Jesus, I keep clicking on all kinds of stuff. All right. So, Shosendar, hello. Um, 
All right, so this guy is in here running a uh, site, and uh, that's all that's all fine and dandy. Okay, I don't know where this other guy went. So, you know, and that was my that was my concern. Who this other guy was, but maybe he was just uh, looking for whatever these sites are. Docking request accepted. Got a enemy fleet inbound, but I don't know where they're going. They're still pretty far away, so you know I don't need to worry about them too much at this point. All right, so um, let's see here. All right, if you're watching on YouTube, we'll see you in the next episode.